for this third grade small group, the two things you'll do today are place value clues and circle and sort. For today's place value clues, um, this is actually a repeat from one that students did earlier in the year. I doubt they will notice, um, but it should be easy enough that they might be able to do some of it independently. Um, just gauge it on the kids. The number's less than 20, so we'd go ahead and cross off any numbers 20 or above, since it cannot be 20 itself. The number is even, so now we'll cross off any odd numbers that we have. After that, half of the digits are odd. Half of the digits are odd. So when we see one half, that means one digit in a two digit number is odd. So that means none of the digits can be even. So it has, or, or none of the digits can be single. It can't be a single digit number. <laughs> um, and then here, we're looking at our two digit numbers, one and zero. Zero is technically neither even nor odd, but we're going to leave it in play because one is odd. We've got one and two and 12. That still works. One and four still works. One and six still works. And one and eight still work. So we're going to leave all those numbers still in play. The number is twice 7, so that means 2 times 7, or 7 plus 7. Then that means it is 14. If I did it correctly, yep, it was 14. After that, students have a circle and sort to do. They're going to do another one of these tomorrow. So if you look, this is page 66. It just has different questions that they would answer today. Um, as a group, you could roll the first two or three together. Um, so you'll need your tens dice and your ones die. 82 is the first number, so that's the one we would shade. And then we would go through and see, does it fall in any of these questions? What numbers are less than 20? Not 82. What numbers are greater than 50? Yes, 82 is greater than 50. So I will record that one there. What numbers are even? 82 is even. What numbers are odd? Not 82. What numbers are between 70 and 90? Okay, well, here's 70 and here's 90. Yeah, 82 falls in there. Next, go ahead and roll again and do as many of these with the group together. Oh, we got zero. I'd roll again because that wouldn't fit on there. 55, color it, go through, answer the questions. If it feels like students can go independent with this, that's great and have them answer as many and get as many numbers recorded as they can. That's it for today.